black power, SNCC had already decided this before the march. It must be properly understood. We decided to use the march for an education purpose. Number one, we wanted to push strongly our struggle against the war in Vietnam. So people will look clearly at the merit of the march. You will see anti-Vietnam propping up here. King wasn't using it then, but you will see this one of the areas where we started to hit him with it seriously. Our march was to put strong nationalism in, to have direct leadership uh, from us, and of course, to throw out black power for the mass of the people. Now, I myself had been in Greenwood, Mississippi since early 60. I'd worked in the project there, and when the head of the second sec congressional district, this was our base. So I had spent time in the jail in uh, Greenwood so many times. The police knew me, the police chief knew me, everyone in the town knew me. So we decided Greenwood, it was Nick's strongest base in the Delta. We couldn't go wrong. Unfortunately for the police, we went to set up some uh, tents there, and the police had decided to arrest me. Okay, so before I was arrested, we were discussing Greenwood. This is where we will launch Black Power. So when I got arrested, uh, Ricks uh, was on the side there when the boy said, let them arrest you. We'll get you out of jail and you come out and make the speech tonight. And he disappeared. Well, you know how Rick speaks. So <laughs> anyway, I went to jail. But uh, I was brought out and uh, when I was released, it was at night, the speech was going on. And uh, when I came to the speech, I was in line. Ricks came back. He said, we have everything prepared. We're ready for black power. We've uh, spoke about it all day. We've uh, primed up the people. And luckily for us, our biggest problem was Martin Luther King, because I knew that once uh, black power was uh, said, Martin Luther King would have to come, not uh, fight against it, but would his best try to give reasonings to water it down. But uh, luckily for us, the night in Greenwood, King had to go to do a taped uh, television thing, I think, for Meet the Press. So he had to go to Memphis. So he was not there the night in Greenwood. Riggs had everybody primed. He said, just get to your speech. We're going against freedom now. We're going for black power. Don't hit too much on freedom now, but hit the need for power. So we built up on the need for power. And just when I got there, before I got it, Riggs was there saying, hit him now, hit him now. And I kept saying, give me time, give me time. When we finally got him, we dropped it. Black power, of course, they had been primed, and they responded immediately. But I myself, to be honest, I didn't expect that enthusiastic response. You know, and the enthusiastic response obviously not only shocked me, but gave me more energy to uh, carry it on further. Uh, by the time we got down that night, SCLC was running around everywhere. We knew it was finished. We had made our victory. They could not bring it back. It was over.